We give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahusha, Ba'ashim, Rakah Kadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders that learn the truth room, and the GMS and the brethren with the like minded doctrine. It's the brother Bakala Wala, we with another hopeful, edifying lesson to the elect body of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahusha. Um, this video is like you see here on on the screen. It says I'm gonna read the title. It says New Brain Implant. Begin begins human trials neuralink update. So I'm gonna go to the description, right? It says new brain implant begins human trials neuralink update. The brain computer interface industry is processing quickly and is not just neuralink. Synchron has been approved for human trials by the FDA. And Neuralink might not be far behind. So these um these companies and this one in particular, Synchron has been given the green light to do trial runs on humans to plant devices in people's um heads, right? So I'm gonna play this video on uh, um uh, then I'm going to bring out some scriptures, you know, because it all is going to, all links up to um, a lot of scriptures, right? Second Thessalonians, the second chapter, um, Revelation, of course, Revelations 13, 16 through 18. You know, these, this is the, um, the mystery of iniquity that worketh, right? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play this video and I'm going to bring out some scriptures. It's going to get inflamed and form scar tissue around the puncture that will eventually render the device useless. So now we enter the next generation of BCI technology, currently being led by startup companies like Neuralink and Synchron. Like we said off the top, Synchron is the first to reach full human trials. They initially began testing in Australia with a group of four patients receiving their BCI implant. Apparently, Australia has looser regulations about what you can put into people's brains. And just last year, Synchron was given the go-ahead by the FDA to commence human testing in the United States. The first U.S. patient just received their stentrode implant and will be the first of six people involved in a $10 million study funded by the National Institutes of Health. So I guess this first patient... That was they was given the green light. This Synchron uh, company was given the green light to do human trials. Right, the guy was um uh, uh, paralyzed. So you know he he suffering for um uh, paralysis. So um they put this device in his brain to help him you know function or move. I guess move um basically to uh, communicate. Cause he, I get this guy can't speak, right? So they gave him this device so he can uh, communicate. But I'm gonna uh, bring out this scripture, Second Thessalonians, chapter two. You know, start at verse five, right? It says, "Um, uh, Second Th Second Thessalonians two and five. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things." And now he know what with, and that's like it. Now he know what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his time. So what was on um, held back is being revealed about um the man of sin, right? For the mystery of for the mystery of iniquity doeth already work, that only he who letteth will let until he be taken out the way so this thing that was withholding that no one no no one knew about has been given that what that mystery of um uh, of who's the who's the man of sin the mystery of iniquity which is it was his esau Edom, the separate white man he's being revealed right i'm gonna read verse seven again for the mystery of iniquity for the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Only he who letteth 
Only one. That's the owl boss from Yahweh Shai is letting Esau eat him. The wicked do what he do until Yahweh Shai comes and take him out the way, right? Verse 8, then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Verse 9 is the point, right? Even him who is coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. So that's this this is part of this working. These devices that he's putting in people, you know. All power, signs, and line wonders. So this guy has paralysis, and he they was given the green light to do human trials, human test runs, right? So that's part of that's that's that that's that whole mystery of iniquity. It's a mystery. Who who is this man that's working all this iniquity, man? Which we know. You know, the men of the Lord, the prophets, the ones that follow the doctrine, you know, the uh, true doctrine. We understand who's the man of the uh, the work, the, the one that works, uh, that the man, that man that works iniquity. That's a mystery to everybody else. But Yahweh Bashim Yahshai has revealed it to us. So we understand who this man is. It's the separate clean white man, Esau Edom. So I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit more of this, right? Which he's being revealed in this time, which the time has been has been passed, but he's still being revealed. To understand why Synchron crossed the threshold before Neuralink, we can look at the design of their implant. The stentrode is named after a common medical device called a stent. This is just a long, thin, flexible tube that doctors can insert into a patient's blood vessel. Stents are used all the time for a number of procedures, mostly involving the heart. If you have a blocked or narrowed artery, the doctor will insert a stent tube to hold it open for you so that blood can flow and you don't have a heart attack. So, the stentrode is actually what it sounds like, a stent combined with a cluster of electrodes. The synchron procedure is to insert the stent with a catheter into the patient's jugular vein and run it all the way up into a blood vessel that is nestled within the motor cortex of the brain. When they pull back the catheter tube, the hollow wire mesh of the stentrode will expand out and interface with the walls of the blood vessel. And the wire at the other end of the stentrode is connected into a very small computer device that is implanted inside the patient's chest cavity. If this sounds at all familiar, that's just because this is virtually the exact same procedure as implanting a pacemaker. They're just running the wire into the brain instead of into the heart. The implanted computer device will then connect with the rest of the system via Bluetooth, either paired to a computer or even just a smartphone. The beauty of the Synchron procedure is that there will be nothing sticking out of the person. There will be no visible sign that they have an implant in their brain. The system can be used anywhere. The surgery can be done in any hospital setting in just a couple of hours. And most importantly, there is no need to open the person's skull or damage their brain tissue. The first patient to receive stentrode in America is a person suffering from ALS who has no ability to move their body or even speak. Thanks to the Synchron device, this person is now able to... Well, you know, you got to understand it. So that's that, the, um, with all that power inside and mind wonder, that um, they display it. And so, with so, so Clinton White, man, he saw Edom, because he's being revealed as the wicked. He's coming with all this power and signs and mind wonder, because he controlled these devices, right? He controlled these, um, this, this technology, which is creating um, these. Um, um, great signs, lying, uh, great signs, and wonders, uh, makes like it, great signs and lying wonders. You're making people be able without, um, they can't move or speak, be, be able to communicate, you know, which is they showing you this. I think I'm going to fast forward a little bit. This part because it's all my neurally. Directly into. 
to the neuron that they want to read, going straight to the source, maximum bandwidth. And each link device will have about a thousand of these tiny wires. So there is an absolutely massive amount of signal coming out of the brain. And then the computer device that's attached to the electrode wires is so small that it can fit perfectly inside the new hollow void of your skull and sit flush with the bone. That way they can just fold the skin back over and sew you up. Once the hair grows back in, there would be no visible sign that you have a computer in your skull that's hardwired into your brain. The same as the Stentrode, the link device would pair via Bluetooth with a computer or smartphone that would read the signals created in the brain and translate them into computer commands. So, while the Stentrode uses a very familiar and well-tested medical procedure to handle the implanting of the electrodes, Neuralink is proposing an entirely unprecedented kind of robotic brain surgery. No one's ever had a robotic sewing machine stitch wires into a human brain before. And that likely means that Neuralink is going to need to present a very thorough and well-tested proposal to the FDA in order to gain their approval for human testing. We know that Neuralink are... So yeah, I'm, that's that's it, you know. I'm going to just leave it there because that, that's what they're trying to do. That's that. Um, read it back. I'm going to go back to um, the second Thessalonians, the second chapter, right? It says, uh... Second Thessalonians chapter we'll start at verse eight. Second Thessalonians two verse eight. Then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, with the spirit of his mouth is his word is consuming the wicked, he saw Edom, right? And shall destroy him with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power, signs and lying wonders. So that's that give that's a demonstration. That was that's that all uh, um, that all power signs and lying wonders would make having people with with disabilities be able to speak, communicate, um, use electronics to their brain, the um, like um, prosthetics, prosthetic arms and things like that and use it to communicate with their brains and to speak and communicate with their brains. That's that powers and signs and lying wonders. You know, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, the Messiah, he had power to heal paralysis and people with all sorts of illnesses. And, you know, and all. Uh, he had the power through the spirit to heal people, you know. He didn't use technology and things like that. It was the devil. You know, which he saw even a separate clean white man as the devil in, in the flesh, the devil incarnated, but he using these devices to portray these signs and wonders. You know, so um, that's all still is going is is, is leading up to um, to also revelations. Revelation chapter 13. Revelation 13, verse 16. It's that he, the same he, has talked about in Second Thessalonians, the wicked. Revelation 13 and 16, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in his, in his hand or in his forehead, and that no man might buy, sell, say he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So that's that, that's that um, mark, which is, which is karakma in the Greek which means incision or cutting in or, or to insert or make a cutting, a karagma. So we know what that is. Then that was a, that shows you there. That's that in for, that's in the forehead.
Yeah, of course they're gonna play a commercial. Dreams come true, right here. That was very, very impressive. This is insane. Elon Musk's brain implant company Neuralink. So yeah, you know the um, the prince of the power of the air, you know interrupting these um, videos, but yeah, they show you that, they demonstrate. That's what it is, you know. So, um, yeah, the FDA, FDA has already approved one of these companies, and, and they said Neuralink is not far behind. They just, going, they just showed you basically somewhat of their presentation or what, um, and what they're going to have, right? So that's that, that's that mark. The incision, the karagma. Right. But we understand what this what this is all about. Cause um like it says in um Second Corinthians chapter two verse eleven, right? It says less Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, man. Which is his plans, his, his evil schemes, right? We are not ignorant to Satan's devices. Because you saw Edom, he's, he's trying to make everybody in perpetual slaves, perpetual servants. Like the insider, um, what's this um, guy named? Uh, Aaron, um, Aaron um, Russo. He was his, he was an insider. He was given, you know, the um, the basically the skinny on what this is all about. Getting everybody um karagmad. Getting everybody the karagma. Basically to turn everybody into perpetual servants, perpetual slaves. So and also I wanna bring this out too about this guy, um I think I can't remember. I'm going to get his name, Noah something, like something Noah, so I get bear with me. Yeah, on this guy here. And when you look back in history. This guy here, Yuval Noah, whatever his last name is, Harari, or whatever. So was he his, um, an Israeli or, or Jewish, right? He says, um. This, this video here says, um, I'm going to read the title. It says, Workplace Autonomy. I miss a lot here. Workplace autom Automation and the Useless Class. So basically, he goes into, I'm going to fast forward it, that he basically talks about a class of people that will not receive this, um, or will not um, want to be a part of this new um, I don't know how he quotes it, but he says it like basically a more superior race through this through this technology. So basically, this is that's that's what you've seen there from um um those two companies, um, Synchron and Neuralink. Basically, that's what it is. He's going into it. So I'm gonna um, play this video and let you see what I'm talking about, right? Bangladesh today to be software engineers. What will they do in 20 or 30 years? And do you really think that, I don't know, the US government will raise taxes on Google and Amazon in California and use that to pay basic income to the unemployed Bangladeshi? If you believe that, you can just as well believe that Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny will come and take care of the Bangladeshi. Because I don't think this is a realistic uh, solution. Nobody knows what the solution is. So we may be facing in the 21st century a completely new kind of inequality, which we have never seen before in human history. On the one hand, the emergence of a new upgraded elite of superhumans. In so that's what he was saying. There's a, uh, the emergence of an upgraded superhuman elite people, right? Hence by bioengineering and brain computer interfaces and things like that. So he said it was enhanced by bioengineering and computer uh, computer 
brain interfaces. Basically, you know, what they was demonstrating at home. Um, Synchron and Neuralink. Maybe facing in the 21st century a completely new kind of inequality, which we have never seen before in human history. On the one hand, the emergence of a new upgraded elite of superhumans enhanced by bioengineering and brain computer interfaces and things like that. And on the other hand, a new massive useless class, a class that has no military or economic usefulness and therefore also no political power. So he was basically saying whoever doesn't take this or down with this program of, of this quote unquote um, human um, um, advanced human race or elite class that's um, will be enhanced by computer interface or bioengineering, which is what you see demonstrated from um, the synchron and Neuralink. Basically, that's what that is. You know, you're being enhanced by these computers, you know, computer computer brain interfaces, which is um, linked up, which, which you'll be um, connected with these computers through this karagma, which is the CHIP, right? And the ones that doesn't, they, they he considered them a useless class. And who was, uh, who's um, bringing up these de um, devices? Who's coming up with these devices? No, none other than the um the man of sin that's being re that's being revealed. He saw Edom, the serpent playing white man. You know he's the devil, and he's coming up with these um devices. You know, these all these power signs and lying wonders through his technology. So I just want to show you that. How those two videos connected, you know, the Neuralink, the Syn um, Synchron, and what this guy here, Yuval Noah, was basically speaking. He's that's basically he's talking about the same thing. That's that um, that, um, bio or uh, or um, um, computer brain interface. What he was talking about that's what it is that karagma the chip so you know just like it says um, i'm gonna bring it back out second corinthians 2 and 11 please satan should get a get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices so we are not ignorant you know because we know he's called edom is trying to make everybody perpetual slaves unto him under him if you don't follow his rules it's, he can just cut you off from society financially. You just be shut off. You know, there's no, there's, there will not be um, tangible currency. It's all digital. So if he wants to, he can just cut you off from society and you just be out here, out here, you know, without um, any, any ability to interact in regular society. So I'm going to end it off there. And I hope it was edifying to the elect. I want to say kohola yom la yahawo. Ba'ashim, yahawo shah, ba'ashim, rakagadash. Shalom on to the next time. Yahawo ratazah was means, Lord willing. And why ba'ababo, DTA soon.